Hi guys, this is Anna, and today we're going to talk about the phrase, you are what you eat. Now you guys have probably heard this before, but do you guys really think that you will become a carrot after you eat a carrot? No. No. That's not what that's talking about, but that would be really cool, huh? No. So what this phrase is talking about is your health being connected to plant health. And a plant's health is connected to a couple other things that we're going to talk about here in a second. So what I mean by tied to, I don't mean like a shoelace. I mean that you provide things like carbon dioxide for the plant and the plant provides things like oxygen and energy like from food that we eat. Now how does the plant get those things? Well, the plants like this eggplant and this tomato and this watermelon and this carrot, they all get energy through a process known as photosynthesis. You might have heard of this before, and if you did, then maybe you can help me out with this next part. So photosynthesis happens when a plant is absorbing light energy from the sun. Those light rays are shining on the plants. They're absorbing them. And then they're also taking in rainwater. Or, if you're watering your garden, then they're taking in the water that you are giving them. So they're taking in this rainwater, but they're also pulling out a gas from the atmosphere. That gas, again, is carbon dioxide, something us mouth breathers over here are breathing out. You're breathing out carbon dioxide, the plants are breathing in the carbon dioxide. And then they are going to produce oxygen, which we are going to breathe in. So those same plants, like um, these corn stalks over here, they're also going to be giving us vitamins. Vitamins. Those vitamins get absorbed by our bodies when we take a chunk out of this carrot, a bite out of this here tomato, a bite out of watermelon, If we cook up some eggplant and eat it, right? So we're getting all these vitamins from the vegetables that we're eating. So it's really, really important that we're taking care of plants. So what happens when plants are growing is they're taking up a lot of nutrients from the soil too. So soil health, we'll draw a little health part down here. Soil health is important to plants just like plants are important to us. So in the soil, There are these little microorganisms, like this little bug guy, and he's going to be providing nutrients to the plants as he's running around doing his little thing. So let's get him some nutrients down here that are going to be absorbed as he's co-mingling with these plants here by their roots, and they're absorbing through their roots these nutrients that the bugs and the microorganisms are providing. Another thing in the soil is fungus. Have you ever heard of fungus? Sounds like a scary word, huh? I don't mean like toe fungus. That's a different thing, which you'll probably learn about later on. (laughs) No, but fungus is also providing naturally these nutrients to the plants so they can grow. So all of these things and all these nutrients that are being absorbed in the process of photosynthesis creates plant energy and those plants grow and they're holding that energy in their little corns, little individual corns here. And then we are going to eat that corn and that's how we get our energy through digestion in the stomach. So you are what you eat. It's important to eat healthy foods that are going to provide you with energy. So fruits and veggies, 
and simple foods. So remember to make smart choices when you're eating and remember you are what you eat. Thanks guys. Bye.